morning children and welcome to Friday's Literacy. So it's our last literacy lesson of the week and I'm going to talk you through your last pages of your workbooks for this week. So remember you need to make sure you've got the right book for the video so you're doing the right one. Okay I'm going to start with the phonics one okay. So today we are thinking about how we can use our voices to make sounds and if we come to our workbooks now it says at the top, your voice is amazing and you can use it to make all sorts of sounds. So what you're going to do is you're going to think about what sounds animals make and then we're going to have a think about what sounds these objects make and then we're going to have a think about how we can talk quietly and we can whisper really quietly or we can shout and use a really big loud voice and then at the bottom of our page, we're going to think about how our voices show people how we feel. So you've got four different activities to think about today in your workbooks. And there are some lovely activities you can colour in and you've got to tick your right answer. So lots to keep you busy in your phonics booklet today. Okay, then moving on for the year one literacy. So again, you need to find the right page. And we're on page six today, if you've got this workbook. And what we're going to do is we've got to finish the groups. So we're going to be thinking about different groups of items. And the workbook is asking you to trace over the words. So thinking about our pencil control, thinking about our letter formation. And we've also got to draw a picture to match each group. So if I'm going to look at the first one, just to show you, so we've got some grapes, we've got a pineapple, and they are both fruit. So we need to think about another item of fruit. So you could draw your favourite. So I love apples. So I could draw an apple in my box, and then, to challenge myself, I might label it, thinking about those letters. So that's what you can get on with today in that booklet. And then, finally, if you have got the Year 2 English booklet, this is the part of the video you need. And what we've got today in here, we've got a little letter to read. And it's get well soon. So I'm going to read it to you. And then you can look at the questions. So the letter starts with, Dear Steph, Mum told me you broke your arm. She said you were bouncing on your bed and then you fell off. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. I broke my arm last year when I fell out of a tree. I got a green cast. What colour is yours? I miss you at school. It is boring sitting at a desk on my own. I hope you get well soon. From Hannah. So there is your piece of text in your workbook. So if you have a go at reading that by yourself now or with an adult. And then you've got to answer four questions. So make sure you're reading the question. Thinking what it's asking you to do. And remember when you do your comprehension. All of the answers are within that text. So if you are a little bit stuck, just go back, read it again, and have a real, real think about it because the answer will be in there somewhere, okay? Remembering your capital letters, remembering your full stops, and remembering your finger spaces. And also, grown-ups at home, we can take, make sure you take lots of photographs and send them in to us so we can see your super work, okay? So that's your Friday English in your workbooks. And then, as always, make sure you do your handwriting on your page. And then we're going to finish with a story. And I'm going to read one of my favourites. And it's the tiger who came to tea. And I know we've read this at school before. So if you want to, you could join in. Okay. And this story is written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. I love the pictures in this story too, okay? Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. I wonder who it's going to be. Sophie's mummy said, Oh, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, A 
excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course you can, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and he sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich, he took all of the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh. And he still looked hungry, so Sophie passed him the buns. They looked like chocolate buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun, he ate all of the buns on the dish. And then he ate all of the biscuits and all of the cake until there was nothing left to eat. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all of the milk in the milk jug and all of the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all of the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all of the food in the fridge and all of the packets and tins inside the cupboard. He must be hungry. And then he drank all of the milk and all of the orange juice and all of Daddy's beer and all of the water out of the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Goodbye. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Oh no. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all of the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to the cafe. Oh, that sounds lovely. So they went out in the dark and all of the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And I can see a little cat here. Looks a little bit like the tiger. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots of things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. And he's playing a little tune saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I love that story. Okay, so thank you very much for listening and well done for doing your home learning all week. Finish off today with your literacy and we will see you again next week. Have a lovely weekend.